This is a, a very exciting clinical trial, uh, and it addresses the, some of the concerns that we have with autologous CAR-T constructs uh, in that it, there's a long manufacturing time. The cells are collected from a patient uh, who may have dysfunctional T cells. Uh, some patients uh, are at risk of progression of their disease prior to the manufacture of CAR-T cells. It may take a month, a month and a half, uh, at times. And so uh, third-party allogeneic CAR T cells from a normal healthy donor uh, can be secured and made for many patients, 100 patients, for example, and be ready uh, immediately. And so the uh, carbon trial, a CTX110 construct, uh, is designed for ready accessibility for patients. And it's a phase one dose escalation trial, looking at the safety, uh, the uh, incidence of adverse events, uh, and the overall response rate and the uh, ex uh, expansion cohort is a primary endpoint. Uh, now, uh, if you take uh, a third party uh, donor's T cells and infuse them into a patient, a patient will either promptly reject them, or if they don't reject them, the T cells can attack the patient's tissues and cause a problem called graft ridges host disease. And so to address this issue in the carbon trial, the constructs uh, actually are gene edited with a, uh, with a, a process called CRISPR-Cas9. Uh, with incredible precision, uh, whereby the T-cell receptor, that which is responsible for causing this graft versus host disease problem, is edited out, so it's not there. Uh, and indeed, in the trial, we didn't see any graft versus host disease. And uh, class one molecule, which allows recognition of cells as cells as self or non-self and would to be rejected, uh, that too is edited out uh, with this uh, technology. Uh, and so the cells will persist for a longer period of time. Uh, and the study results uh, uh, very um, encouragingly showed an excellent safety profile um, and uh, effectiveness uh, so that once the uh, first uh, couple of doses, dose levels, had been uh, uh, achieved when a, a dose level in the, what, what's called the cohort three uh, started showing uh, responses and there forward in the trial, when we started seeing the, the, those responses and the, the cells were dosed at 30 to uh, 600 million in uh, these various cohorts. Once we got up uh, to the 300 million mark and above, started seeing uh, responses, some of which have been quite durable, for example, there are three uh, patients now who exceed two years out from receiving these CAR T cells uh, who continue to be in continued complete remission. And for the preparative regimen that's used for this, we give uh, chemotherapy that depletes the patient's own T cells so that uh, they uh, don't compete for molecules that stimulate the, the CARs called cytokines. Uh, and uh, uh, deplete cells called T regulatory cells that would inhibit these CAR T cells. Uh, and, and so we saw good expansion uh, in patients uh, and uh, these uh, quite remarkable responses. The lymphodepleting chemotherapy used to bring that about uh, is uh, uh, basically identical to what we use uh, in our commercial CAR T cells approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Uh, and so no extra toxicity there. And this is the first uh, allogeneic CAR T trial to use that type of a preparative regimen uh, and achieve these uh, types of responses. Um, the overall response rate, once we reach that uh, cohort three uh, is 67 percent, and the uh, complete response rate was 40 percent. Uh, now, uh, we ha have uh, treated some patients with more than a single dose, um, and uh, a, a two-dosing do two uh, group of patients. Um, in patients who had had an initial response, complete response, um, uh, or partial response, but then lost that response, they received second doses. And that very encouragingly, very encouragingly also showed uh, uh, remarkable uh, deep uh, complete remissions uh, in some of the patients. So very encouraged by that. And an expansion cohort will include uh, uh, patients uh, from the upfront will, who will receive two doses of CAR-T four to eight weeks uh, apart. And so uh, this uh, allows for repeat dosing, uh, which is uh, in a, a particular, particularly important advantage. So the advantages here are 
the, from the time of uh, enrollment in the clinical trial to the time CAR T cells uh, were uh, 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 ready at the center it was two days to start of lymphodepleting chemotherapy. Very encouraging uh, results. As mentioned, it takes us a month, a month and a half to get autologous CAR T cells. The T cells expanded. Uh, and we saw uh, uh, a very good safety profile and excellent, uh, excellent uh, remissions.